Welcome to the Got Math class. Let's make math so easy. Hello, everyone. I'm your teacher for this question. The question says find all vertical, horizontal, and oblique asymptoms. So we're given the function qx is equal to x to the fifth power over x q minus eight. Okay, so what are vertical, horizontal, and oblique asymptoms? So for vertical asymptoms to occur, the denominator, denominator, has to equal to zero. Okay, so that's to put it simple. It's like that. And for horizontal, horizontal asymptoms to occur, the denominator, denominator. Has to be greater or equal to the, or this is actually not very clear way to phrase it. We should say the leading degree of denominator should be greater or equal to leading degree degree. Of numerator, numerator. Last one, oblique. Oblique horizontal. Oh, sorry, oblique asymptoms actually occurs, or is a asymptote along a line y x is equal to x plus b, where the slope is not zero. Oblique asymptotes occurs when the degree of the denominator. So when the degree Degree of denominator, denominator is one less is one less than the numerator. So, if the degree of the denominator is two and the uh, degree of the numerator is four, then there should be an oblique. Uh, oblique asymptotes. Okay, so now let's use this information to first check if there are uh, these three asymptotes. So, for vertical, vertical asymptotes, asymptotes, it occurs when denominator is equal to zero. So we set x cubed minus eight is equal to zero. And we should get x is equal to two. So when x is equal to two, vertical asymptotes happens or occurs. For horizontal, we need to know that the leading degree of the denominator has to be greater or equal to the degree of the numerator. But three is smaller than five, so no horizontal, no horizontal. Asymptotes, and then we check for oblique. The degree of the denominator needs to be one less than numerator. Three is two less than the number numerator. So no oblique asymptotes. Okay. So what we can take away from this question is how. To find if all these three asymptotes occurs. Also, we know that uh, how to find all these three horizontal. Uh, how to find all these three asymptotes? Okay, so um, that's all for this question. See you in the next video.